Yeah. And I believe and hope that whatever name that I give to one who helps in this great work, that Allah and his messenger would accept that name. I believe with all my heart that they will. When Elijah Muhammad was about to be commissioned after three years of being with Master Farad Muhammad, Master Farad Muhammad asked him if he would take this big name. Yes, sir. It was a big name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was called Elijah Kareem. Yes. And then Master Farad Muhammad wanted to call him Abdul Muhammad. <laughs> he said he loved the Muhammad part. All right. But he liked Elijah and he wanted to hold on to Elijah. <laughs> yes, sir. So yes, sir. Master Farad Muhammad did not force him to take that big name Abdul Muhammad. But I think that that's a great name for the true sons. Yes, sir. For the true sons yes, sir. of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, this brother to my left. Yes, sir. I believe is a true son yes, sir. of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, so I'm going to ask him if he would accept uh -oh. the name, the challenge, and the responsibility of the biggest name yes, that sir. you could get in Islam. Yes, Since he's a son of his father, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, yes, I would like to ask him if he would be willing to take the name of his father, oh. Muhammad. That's yes, sir. number one. Yes, sir. Would you be willing yes, sir. to take that name, Muhammad? Yes, come back over here. Yes, I ain't finished. Yes, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, Muhammad is a great name. It means one worthy of praise yes, sir. and one praised much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I would like you also to take the name Abdul. Come on. Abdul means the servant. Right. And I would like for you to take another name yes, sir. that I think describes you well. Ah. It's the name of our nation. Yes, sir. Our nation yes. that Allah began in 1930 okay. no. is to remain forever. Yes, sir. So the name that corresponds to that which will be or remain forever yes, is the name Khalid. Yes, Khalid. Yes, and so I would like brother to take the name Abdul Khalid Muhammad. Yes, sir. Abdul Khalid Muhammad. Now, as you know, Khalid bin Walid was the greatest warrior for Islam. Khalid bin Walid was called the sword of Allah. Now, uh, dear brother uh, Khalid, we are not picking up the physical sword. We are not here to do harm to any man, woman, or child with a physical sword. The sword that I want you to pick up and become the sword of Allah is the sword of truth. And I believe that this brother, if he commits himself to the word of Allah, will be the sword of Allah in this day as Khalid was the sword of Allah in the time of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him so I would like to ask this of you my brother will you pledge as a son of the honorable Elijah Muhammad 
to lift up his name among the people of America and the people of the earth. Yes, sir, I do. Since that name Muhammad means one worthy of praise, will you pledge that you will not make a mockery of this name, that every act that you do, every deed that you do, every word that you speak, every thought that you think should be in harmony with your name and the name of our Lord, our Father, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, that those thoughts, those acts, those deeds will be deeds worthy of praise. Yes, sir, I pledge to do that to the best of my ability, and I pray that Allah will continue to strengthen me to live up even more. And do you, my brother, pledge that when you do these works that are worthy of praise, that you will not take the praise yourself, but will give the praise to whom it rightly belongs, Almighty God, Allah, and His servant, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who has inspired us to do all that we are doing? Yes, sir, I do. And will you uphold this charge till Almighty God Allah takes your life from this planet? Yes, sir, I will. And from this day forward, this great brother in Islam will be known as Brother Abdul Khalid Muhammad and his wife will no longer wear the name Paula She's his mate, so she is Khalida Muhammad. Now that was a marriage ceremony. We are wedded to Almighty God. We are wedded to His servant, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we are wedded to the cause of the rise of our people. And we pledge to live for the rise of our people until God takes our life away. And even death cannot stop this. Because in death, our death will inspire you who live to go on until all of our people are free here and all over the world. Now what about this house? This that was the Ritz, this that was some other name, this that was a disco, this that was a good time party house. This that is now called Muhammad's Temple Number 27. The way the brothers have transformed and sisters have transformed this building is but a sign of what our presence in the Los Angeles community is all about. Our work is not to transform buildings. Our work is to transform people because any man that builds a fine building and does not build fine people, those people that you neglected will tear down your fine building and destroy your fine community. The problem with the world is we spend too much time and money building buildings and too little time and money building that which is the real house of God, the people.
the people, the people. Every one of the brothers and sisters who have come through this door, we taught them from the Bible and we taught them from the Holy Quran and their lives are being transformed. We are not here, this house is not here to attack any other religious group but to work with you, for you, to redeem a people that are surely lost and will suddenly be destroyed if some of us who have knowledge and power and means will not use what we have to retrieve those lost brothers and sisters of ours and give them a chance to make a contribution to the onward movement of society and the world. This house is not here to be a plague on the city of Los Angeles. No way, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> this house is not here to train men and women to be opponents and opposers of the law that governs this city or this country. We are here to train our people up to use the law of God and the law of man as a launching pad for us into the highest development of civilized people. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is not an anti-Christian house. We are for Christ. This is not an anti-Yahweh or anti-Jehovah house. We are in love with Jehovah and in love with Yahweh and in love with Allah. These are different names of one God. And we will not be divided by the names of God when God is one. All praise is due to Allah. This house is not to preach division. Yes, this house is built to preach the unity yes, of our people here in America and all over the world. Yes, well, what about other people? Huh? You cannot unite well with other people until you are well in unity with yourself then then your unity with other peoples of the world and other people of different races will not be seen as this cheap social trick of you being absorbed into another people losing yourself respect and your own identity but as a united people we will bring to the table our own set of principles we will bring to the table our own policies and our own power and we will add to what is there but when you go from a divided point of view you go to the table of brotherhood weak so you end up being a brother to white people on their terms a brother to Mexicans on their terms a brother to Indians and Chinese on their terms because you're too weak to bring to the table terms of your own.